It's not Italian, it's French. What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and this is episode 5 of Coffee with Chris. Today I'm here to show you how to brew delicious coffee with a French press and show you a few tips, tricks, and best practices that will help you get just a little bit more out of this age-old coffee brewing device. And the reason why I'm doing it with the French press is because a lot of people want to brew coffee relatively quickly that has high body, meaning pallet feel, meaning that it feels heavy. And they want to do that on a cheap device, on a device that you can pick up for 20 or $30. So the French press checks all those boxes and you can, you can make coffee in five minutes with this and I'm going to show you how right now. All right, so to make French press coffee great, you're going to need just a few things. So you're going to need obviously a French press. You're going to need a device to brew the co pour, sorry, pour the coffee into once it's finished brewing and I'll explain why later. You're going to need a wooden spoon or anything to stir with, preferably though wood or bamboo, and then a scale. So a scale bonus points if it has a timer if not you can just use your phone and then last but not least you're gonna need a grinder or freshly ground coarse coarse coffee so the French press has a metal filter meaning that this will get rid of coffee particles but it's not gonna get rid of everything especially not if we grind really fine so for a French press you're always gonna have to do a coarser grind which means you're probably gonna have to up your brew ratio so just keep that in mind that if you're brewing coffee with a French press you will need to grind the coffee more coarsely so I always tell people if they're ever buying coffee from us and they do need it pre-ground although I do try to convince them to buy a grinder they do need it pre-ground I always tell them tell me what you're brewing with so I can grind it correctly and with a French press it absolutely has to be coarse otherwise you'll have trouble plunging and then you'll get sediment in your cup and it'll be a disgusting experience so make sure that coffee is ground coarse so the first thing you want to do is boil your water and preheat your French press so you're just gonna pour some water into the French press just to get the temperature of the glass up and everything so we're not losing temperature during brewing. Alright, so now that your French press is preheated, you can go ahead and pop it onto the scale. So we're going to zero out our scale. And now we're going to add coffee. So I'm looking to brew about half a liter of coffee so I'm gonna add 35 grams of 35 grams of coarsely ground coffee that I just ground upstairs 35 grams we're looking for a bit more perfect Okay, so now that that's in there and the kettles come off a boil now for about 30 seconds, we're going to add the exact same amount of grams of coffee we added in hot water. So I'm just going to add another 35 grams of water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this and make it into a slurry. And once the slurry is all mixed together nicely, I'm going to start my timer. And this is kind of like a pre-infusion. So I'm going to let the slurry settle and degas for about 45 seconds. What this is going to do is it's just going to give all that coffee some time to get ready to brew properly. So we're, we're soaking everything. We're making sure everything's wet so that when we add the actual brewing water, it takes it on correctly. Okay, so now that it's been 45 seconds, we're going to add half a liter of water so I put 35 grams of coffee in so I'm gonna aim for 535 grams of total weight on the scale right now Ok, 
Okay, perfect. So then, now just take your spoon again and give this another stir. So now that all that is mixed up nicely, you can just let it brew now. And we're going to let it brew for five minutes. So the, the timer right now is at a minute 40. We're going to let it brew till 640. So now that we've let the coffee brew for five minutes, we're going to take our plunger, pop it in, and we're going to slowly plunge. So if the coffee's ground correctly, this should be easy. If you're having too much trouble, you could be working with a French press that's maybe a little older and the screen's starting to wear, or it could be that your coffee's too fine. All right, and then once it's plunged, you wanna take it and pour it into a vessel that you're gonna either serve it with or drink with. Now the reason being is that that coffee is still brewing because it's, because it's, it's in the bottom there of the French press. So if you, don't, if you don't take it out, that coffee is still brewing. But there you have it. That's how you make great French press coffee. Just takes, you know, under 10 minutes, you have a great cup of coffee. French press you can pick up for 20 or 30 bucks so they're definitely inexpensive and it does produce a great cup of coffee now because the grinds are always in contact with the water during the brewing process you are gonna get kind of a stronger cup and something with a bit more palate feel usually a bit more oil um, and that's just because it's an immersion brewing technique so the the coffee and the water are brewing completely together it's not like in a pour over or a V60 where the water is passing through the coffee, passing through the filter and then into the pot. The, the grinds and the water are really hanging out for a long time with this method. So that's why you're going to get kind of a different flavor profile. And the reason why it works is because the grinds are coarser so they do take a longer time to extract but you are letting them brew for a longer time. So it, it kind of balances itself out and makes a nice balanced cup of coffee. Um, so French presses are great. They're, they're good also because you can get these in different sizes. So you can, you can brew just a cup for yourself or if you have guests, you can get a larger French press. So they're super, super versatile, super easy to use. I'd highly recommend keeping one of these around because they're just, it's a nice way to brew coffee. I don't always make coffee with a French press every morning, but it's a, it's a nice change up. It's a nice way to taste coffee. So would highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Drink better coffee everyone.